Main reason I got 75% win rate. The main reason I got the 75% oh, win no. rate. Hello YouTube! So today, we are looking at a bunch of educational TikToks and we are going to see if they actually work in-game. Are they real? Are they fake? Are we being scammed by TikTok creators? Thank you to my boy Ninjawiz for putting this together. If you guys want to see this stuff live, come on over to twitch.tv slash If you do enjoy the content, please consider subscribing to the YouTube channel. We are studying for the Valorant midterms. Apparently, there's a test for Valorant. What if they actually had Valorant in school though? How good do you think you'll do? They're gonna ask you a bunch of questions oh where does this arrow land if i fire a two charge sova shock dart where does this land how many smokes does astra have i doubt well i bet people would hate him so much <laughs> all right first tiktok of the day wait what again valorant tips and tricks okay so he teleports back left wall blue so this is an omen smoke lineup very interesting the blue dot touches the line okay but they can see you right because the one way is like supposed to be reversed where you can see their feet if their head isn't covered does it mean that they can see you wait live match okay this is what we want to see Okay. All right. What do we think about this trick? I think it's okay. I feel like it's more for the surprise factor than anything. I think it's less about actually using like a one way and more about, oh, shit, no one expects the omen to be there. No one sees his tiny little head and the smoke kind of throws you off a little bit here. I still feel like a, a regular smoke would work better. Maybe? No, but then again, a regular smoke compared to this smoke is almost exactly the same. No, but a regular smoke blocks window. So this is a trade-off, I guess. 95% of all Valorant players don't know this simple trick. If you play on Fracture, you no! don't need to shift okay. across the rope underneath the map. Notice okay. how there is no sound circle on the minimap and only when you swing your knife will it appear. The only okay. Sound the enemy will hear is you attaching and detaching from the rope, which you still need to watch out for. But besides that, you can go across freely without them hearing you. If you're having a wait, what? Has my entire life been a lie? You still make a sound on the zipline, right? I'm gonna stay in spawn, okay? Just get out of the zipline. You got it. Wait, are you on the zipline? Yeah. yeah, yeah. Huh? Wait, I didn't even hear you attach. Are you sure? Wait, yeah, I can't hear you attach, but I should hear you zipping across, right? Wait, wait, wait. Because I'm in spawn. Huh? Are you just like spamming zipline right now? Yes. Okay, technically there is a tiny, tiny ass sound. You can, <laughs> you can, you can kind of hear it. <laughs> if I'm over here, do I hear him? Dude, okay, I, there is a tiny ass sound, okay? A tiny one. You cannot possibly hear it. Okay, you can hear the detach and the attach, but you can't possibly hear this one, okay? You listen to this. That is too fing tiny, man. You have to be right beside him to hear the. You know? That's actually a good trick, because I if I'm in spawn, I can't hear anyone. And he's supposed to be directly under me. Damn! Wait, we're learning something today. That is crazy. That is a good TikTok! Attaching from the rope, which you still need to watch out for, but besides that, you can go across- You can barely hear it. Technically, there is a sound, but you can barely hear it. Freely, without them hearing you. This is the right use. Main reason I got 75% win rate. The main reason I got the 75% oh, win no. rate. Fuck this map. Just look here. It's a big ass fuck. It tells you so much info. There is one. <laughs> As if some players need more map awareness, right? Jesus Christ. That is your whole se Wait, I have a second monitor. Hey, I should do that. How the hell did he even set that up? <laughs> tells you so much info. Okay. Broken omen trick on Breeze. I love Breeze. omen tricks. You're going to start off by coming into this corner and planting the spike. Okay. Wait, this is an omen post plant trick? Now you're going to pull your ultimate out. You're going to ultimate on top of this box. Okay. Technically, you don't need to be omen to do this. Jump up here. To this corner. And from here, you can see the spike and kill anybody trying to defuse. Okay. 
Okay, this is a great post plant thing, but you don't need to be omen. I think anyone can get up there, right? I'm pretty sure that anyone can... Wait, let me try this out in game. Imagine if they smoke it. Y yeah, because you can... can't see it here, but there's like the, the little ramp on the side and you can just jump up. How useful would this be if you if they smoke you off and you need to walk up? And can you actually I'm see left side? Helpful. Like if they're left side over here, I guess if you're using an op, you can just wall bang through this, but nah. You're way too open. Then again, who would be running through mid at this point in time? Actually, you're right. So Someone would, yeah, some people are definitely going to run through mid. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's okay 1v1, I guess. I'm going to teach you a trick that's oh going to- Oh my god, that was, Jesus Christ, I was so silent for a little bit and then- <laughs> I was on max volume on this last TikTok because it was quiet. And I, God damn it, Ninja. I'm going to teach you a trick that's going to bring you from iron to radiant in less than one act. Oh, no fucking way, chat. Here we go. I, I can already see it. Aim for the head. Yeah, that's it. Tap heads. Easy clap. That's the trick. <laughs> There's no way like a single piece of advice is going to bring you up. Okay? Just, just letting you know. If we're being serious for a second. <laughs> The way this works is simple. Your teleport gets blocked by enemy bodies, which means you can use it as a scouting tool, even when you can't see them. So in this example, you can see that there's something clearly in front of me. As oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I mean, forward. the trick is a good this trick. It's going to light a scout. Yeah, these are a bunch of omen tricks. Kills. Follow for more because... One map trick for each agent. Yeah, if you guys didn't know that, the omen teleport uh, detects collision and players are identified as collision. If you can't teleport forward, then you'd normally be able to teleport further and you know someone's there. Congratulations, guys. You guys are all iron uh, radiant. Well, no, I mean, you guys are all radiant now because of this omen trick. <laughs> One map trick for each agent, part five, icebox. For you sage mains, here's an insane way to stop a plant on icebox. First, walk all the way into the corner of generator, then place your wall so that you- I've seen Grim do this. I just don't know how in the world he breaks it so fast. Walk Look. all the way into the corner of generator, then place your wall so that you have just enough space to fit in it. Then, when you hear your enemy's plant, simply crouch or jump and the wall will instantly break. Now Wait, is that how it works? You crouch? Wait, can I try that in game? One sec, chat. It got patched. Oh, so, okay, I don't need to try it then. It's patched? Oh, okay, okay. <laughs> yeah, because this is kind of insane. If it's, if it's patched, there's no need for me to crouch try it or jump and the wall will instantly break. Now, you can quickly kill whoever is planting. For you viper mains, here's one ratty way to catch your opponents off guard and to get an easy kill. Stand outside screens. Then throw your wall above okay. the entranceway. After that, climb on top of screens, and uh -huh. now you have a pretty good, almost one-way wall. Isn't the viper visible from over here, though? Like, don't you get seen from this angle if you're peeking this here? I don't know. I feel like you get seen because you can't see it very clearly right now because of how the angle works, but might be a bit risky. Let me introduce you to the cove peek. This is how an aggressive harbor will peek a common angle to get a kill. I huh? People play harbor? Wait, this. <laughs> Sorry, I'm kidding. But what is this peak called? To the cove peak. Oh, the cove peak. Okay. This is how an aggressive harbor will peak a common <laughs> angle to get a kill. Okay, so it's basically he throws a smoke in front of him and people don't expect a, a, someone to peek out because the smoke is coming out. So, and then he peeks. I believe that this new tech has potential to make insane plays. This is essentially a jet dash or a chamber TV that protects you from the enemy. In this game, I got okay, that might be too far to call it a jet dash. Viper stole my ace. How to get yourself an e-girl. Okay, what is this tip? Mr. Ninja was... I don't know, chat, do we watch this one? I, I don't think this really counts as a, as a tip or a trick. Wait a minute! It really counts as a, as a tip or a trick. We are now going to watch how to get an e-girl tip. <laughs> to get yourself an e-girl in four simple steps look at this off angle Concussed. step one identify the subject wait oh my god it's a girl step two remain calm <laughs> it's a girl nah he fucked up he's too far gone what the fuck there's no oh. way bro Valorant Secrets Radiance. We didn't get the tips. This was a scam. I don't understand. There's nothing there. Don't be cringe. Yeah, yeah. Biggest tip. 100%. I don't even understand. What the fuck is Riz? Can someone explain to my boomer mind? Because I have no fucking clue what, what people say these days. What the fuck is Riz? It's like you replace one letter and Riz and it becomes something completely different. Rizwald. <laughs> <laughs> I see noted. Thank you, chat. You have enlightened me, taught me something. Instead of you guys learning, I am learning something new today. 
Valor and Secrets Radiance <laughs> don't want you to know. Part two. All right, all right. Always have a plan. Never have a plan. When choosing a position, build a plan of where to peek from and when, plus how to fall back to safety in case you rip or needs to reload. Then... <laughs> what were those sound effects, dude? It's like I'm watching those old cartoons. I'm watching like the... <laughs> <laughs> Wait, one sec. Fall back to safety in case you rip or needs to reload. <laughs> then consider the enemy utility. Look it's like 2007 YouTube vids. Initiators there are. <laughs> if there's a Phoenix, Sky, or Breach, you'll need to play Anti Flash. And if there's a Reyna, Sova, or Kao, you can ask your teammate to shoot the Flash, Dart, or Knife. 99 okay to be fair this is a good tip because i know a lot of players in lower elos just like to go in uh i want to kill tap some heads that's my plan let me go peek oh i'm dead well that's it for me <laughs> it's actually really helpful to have a plan and actually plan things out and just think about what you're going to do if if your first option doesn't work out you know i'm planning to peek long get a kill and and maybe run away what if i don't get a kill what if i get flashed what if i get stunned you know it's it's good to think about these things in percent of players give in up and hell. surrender play the exact same utility every single round so understanding the patterns will get you out of hell in no time that's smart too people have like patterns that they love to just do every single round i mean i do the same smokes i i kind of flash the same way you catch on to that that's that's a big thing man nerd would skank you 100 percent what the f wait that has collision some people don't even see that unless you're on high graphics right this one i want to test out chat is bind going away yeah you guys didn't know bind and breeze are going away i think that's what they said and they're uh putting in split god damn split so now we do the ghost to ghost now i am on medium graphics revealing area okay god standing ahead wow Wow, that is a pixel perfect lineup. Scanning ahead. What the f? Why does it go through? Look, my crosshair is right on Revealing it. Revealing area. And it goes through. But if I put it. Revealing area. Wait, what? Scanning ahead. Oh, it has to be slightly below? Revealing area. Scanning ahead. Wow. If I turn my settings up to. Uh, if I lower my settings to low. Oh, this thing is still here. Okay. Doesn't matter then. If I put on a high, is there more stuff? So? No, I guess it's fine. Wait, is there a weird arc? Does the uh, sofa dart have a weird, weird like arc? Does it like arc up? Revealing area. Arch up? Is it arc? No, it's arc. All right, interesting. Okay. There they are. That's a nice lineup, though. Hopefully, it's not too hard. Oh, okay. Pixel Wait, it's a literal pixel. What am I looking at? Top right corner, charge bar, tab. Wait, what? Top right. Quarter charge bar. What? What am I looking at? Like honestly, I don't even know if there's like. Is there like a change in the in? What the? F am I? <laughs> One mistake each agent main makes. For jet mains, I see a lot of you not okay. using updraft to your full ability. Okay. Try to use updraft mid dash to get an off angle so that you have more time to pull out your weapon and so that the enemies have a harder time shooting you. Okay. For all you sage mains, you can always wall vertically instead of horizontal. Wait, can't they shoot your like. Is your sage like thick enough? Or, sorry, is the wall thick enough to cover sage? Because can't you get shot from like the side or doesn't your body peek out from the side a little bit? <laughs> you can always wall vertically <laughs> instead of horizontally oh. when you're trying to defuse and they have planted for somewhere. This will make it so that attackers have to break more of the wall, giving you an easier time to defuse. <laughs> Your guide in under 30 seconds. Oh my god, he's destroying zip tie with this. Under 30 seconds? Dude, zip tie's entire, entire channel just summarized in 30. Here, here we go. Seconds, zip tie in 30 go. seconds. When in a smoke, throw your flash into the ground okay. in the middle of the smoke. This will throw off your enemy's timing and make them full blind, giving you an easy kill. When you're about to TP, always throw a flash before you TP. Okay. And make sure that you don't flash mm -hmm. a corner. Flash a larger area so that it's safer for you to TP. When ulting, always have a shorty ready. Flash just before leaving the ult and take out your shorty to kill an enemy close range. That doesn't work anymore, right? Uh, technically, it can still work. It's just not as viable as it used to be. This will net you free This is, this is good easy. stuff, though. Shout out to Valorant Bonnie, dude. Good, great TikToks, man. People still don't know you can do this. The f*** is this music? What are we doing? The sucky sucky? Huh? 
Can we try this out? Wait, does a boost work? Wall boosting works? Did they remove it? Wow, wait. We're, we're back with another Valorant body video, dude. Shout out to Valorant body, man. It goes crazy. Guide in under 30 seconds. Let's do this. We're learning so much. Jump up slopes to get to places faster than if you were to walk. Simply run and then hold shift while jumping. When trying to- Wait! I thought people just did that because it felt good. Do you guys not jump up slopes? Or like B hop up slopes? Is there's an actual use to this? Where to walk. Simply run and then hold shift while jumping. When trying to gather info, you can I... always jump spot. Jump spotting is really Oh, this is really good. The way yeah. you do it is you basically want to jump forward and then press S and the D or A key. And then flick your mouse to the left or right. That's really that's a great thing. Lastly, crouch jumping gives you a little extra height to your jump. Use this to get onto off angles. Yeah. I also just launched my YouTube channel, so if you want to, please subscribe for some exclusive content. All right, chat, I'm gonna show you the, the god jump, okay? Now that Split is coming back, I want you to know that I made a video about this and it blew up my channel. I'm always gonna do it, okay? Every time it gets mentioned. This vid, it propelled me like crazy, okay? This had 1.5M. This was the first vid that did well. And it's about the box jump. Look, this was a tutorial. Holy crap. This was a tutorial on how to jump the box. Anyway, I don't know where I am anymore. Where the f did I go? Okay. Does it still work? It probably does. I remember watching that. Look at this. I can I can't do it anymore. One sec. It's coming back. Oh, there it is. I haven't done this in forever. Infinite magazine gives you infinite uh, magazines. If you want to know how to do that, you basically, when you get in collision with the uh, with the thing, you release crouch. So you're jumping in the air with crouch, and then the moment you hit it, you release. There it is. But yeah. <laughs> anyway, back to the vent. Oh. No, I don't want to hear my own voice. If you're playing Cypher on Ascent, you can use this hidden glitch camera to know when an enemy is actually defusing or not. Enjoy the free win. This is a 100% patch. This was a bug long time ago, and they patched it really quick because that is an insane camera. Add scoop campers in the teleporter. Come against this door and line up your crosser with the bottom part of the door here and throw your boom bot to open it for some wow. easy kills. Or if you're Wait, playing that doesn't... Wow. That, that is a recent knife. Easy kills. That's the Soul Strife knife. That's wait, the raised one is patched? But the Soul Strife just came out. I'm trying the raised one, dude. Beep boop, beep boop. Here we go. Corner? Wait, wait, let me check the vid again. Okay, bottom and throw part your of the boom door. bot to open it for some. Okay. Alright. Bottom part of the door. So down here. Right? That should be fine. Bomb buddy out. It's gone! Unless I'm doing it wrong. Maybe lower. Bomb buddy out. Damn, that boom bot looks weird though. What is it doing? Sussy. Or if you're playing Cypher, you can place your camera outside of the teleporter and shoot your cam through the teleporter to open it for oh, some yeah, easy Yeah, that one frag. works. That one works for sure. Win every post plant on B site with Sage. Plant in this spot right here and then run over the connector and you oh, can wall yourself to have an insane angle on anyone trying to defeat. I hate this, dude. This is insane, man. Then again, it only lasts as long as your wall lasts. Can anyone actually tell me how long a wall lasts? Anyone? Off the top of your head, how long does a sage wall last? Is it like 45 seconds? It's 40, uh, is it 45? Is it 40? Wait, really? Sage main 40 seconds? Okay, good for you. Plant detonate time is 45. So basically the moment you're running through this, you should have enough time because it takes around, yeah, around five seconds to get the area here. So yeah, this should last the entire spike detonation thing. That's such These a ratty way to die, though. That will definitely help your aim. When aiming with the Phantom at longer ranges, try to aim for the neck instead of the head. The burst with the Phantom will often kick your bullets off of the head if you're aiming for the skull. Remember to take it. To be fair, I do that. I don't know if it's optimal. I aim slightly lower. Sometimes I even, I don't know, I, I mess up and I hit the body instead. It's not a really good habit with a Phantom because you want to, or it's not a really good habit because you want to be hitting heads or you want to be aiming for head most of the time, right? I don't know. What do you guys think about this one? Phantom long range or vile? Then again, people don't really use Phantom as much as Vandal these days, right? I, I feel like Vandal is like at a 70%. That's actually smart because Phantom will just, yeah, the recoil will take you up to the head. The advantage of no bullet tracers. The Phantom has no bullet tracers, so spray through smokes like the devil you are. Try to find close range fights instead of taking long range fights. The Phantom is the strongest at close to medium ranges. You True. therefore want to utilize True. that. I wish I would have learned earlier during my climb to Radiant. This might okay. be a bit controversial, but if you're serious about ranking up and maximizing your odds of winning each game, you need to dodge certain teams. You might have spent the last hour duking it out in overtime, and you managed to win 16 to 14. 
What do you guys feel about that, chat? How do you guys feel about purposely dodging games? Because maybe you have a bad teammate, maybe your team is a, a bit toxic. <laughs> I heckin' love dodging. I dodge when my main gets locked. I think you have to be able to dodge some. Three RR loss is better than 20, right? Yeah, but how sure are you gonna lose? No smokes equals dodge. Okay, maybe if there are no smokes, I guess that's the one time where I'm thinking like, yeah, I think I might dodge here. I have never dodged, I just play. I see, I see. You got plus 18 RR for the game because it was a close match. You think you're feeling it, so you queue up for the next game, and what do you know? You're playing on Breeze, and no one picked Viper or any smoke agent at all. I think instant locking is fine when you're picking the agent that you know you can provide the most mm -hmm. amount of value to your team. You shouldn't have to pick an agent that you're uncomfortable on. However, that doesn't mean your team doesn't need smokes if no one on your team can play smokes. If you don't have smokes and the enemy has a brain, yeah, exactly. you're gonna get op every single freaking round and lose a game while you have people whining and mad at each other the entire game because nobody smokes. picked smokes. Now. Would you rather lose oh three God. RR for dodging or lose 24 RR in a span of 20? Wow, someone just said that in my chat. You guys are f mind readers. <laughs> who, who the hell just said would you rather? <laughs> Minutes getting 13 out. Best way to use agent abilities, part two. When entering as Jet, you can use the dash to quickly check close corners. This True. is very effective at clearing sight. When flashing is Reyna, make sure to either flash high or low to the ground. That's also true. To flash close to head height, as that makes it easier for enemies to headshot you. When dogging with Sky, make sure to always left click with the dog right before the timer runs out. This makes you see more of an area and therefore gives you more info. If you're having a bad aim day, here's a trick that might help. Load up a deathmatch, go to your settings, and just double your sensitivity. This is gonna feel terrible, but what? try your hardest to control the micro movements of this insanely high sense. What this should do is get your brain out of autopilot muscle memory mode and force it to think about where you're aiming. What? Now when you're finished with the DM, load up another and return your sense to normal. The sensitivity that 10 minutes ago felt uncomfortable should now feel smoother and way easier to control. So next time you play Valorant, we gotta try that one, dude. This one's just a mind game. I mean, if it's a mind game, that helps. What's double? Oh my god, I'm gonna go up to one. That's 1.4. Holy! F it's not feeling too hot right now, Jesus. Oh! Oh! I'm losing my mental. Just the process? Okay, let's just the process. Um, what if I pop off with a sense? Double my sense. Oh my god, I'm over flicking like crazy. Peekers? Oh, that, that is not where I want to flick. Wow, I might become a wrist aimer now. Try not to flick? Okay, I'll moment. try not to flick. Okay, let's get set up. Okay, Viper. Gotta control my micro adjustments. Where is everyone, man? Hi. Is this really supposed to help? <laughs> okay, I'll put it back to normal and I'm gonna try it this way. Oh, this feels. Will my aim become insane? I think my brain is kind of getting confused still between the high and the low sense. Yeah. Yeah. I think I'm being shut on more. Oh no. I think in conclusion, I think it really depends on the person. Might help some people, might not help others. I don't know. It's a change of pace. Well, that's true. I mean, it works for some, it works for others, I feel. It really depends on you. There is one unspoken Valorant tip that will help you hit clips like this. Okay. The unspoken rule. What is it? Nobody knows. My shot. Oh my god, the Bucky? Oh my god, the Bucky? How's he doing this? Oh! So, you're probably wondering what it is. This piece of advice is not something I see spoken about a lot, and often I see players trying to follow very strict instructions on how to improve. But okay. this tip 
is to test your own ideas. Trusting your instinct and trying things that seem unordinary will help you identify your strengths and your weaknesses. Things will go wrong, but you will learn why. And things will also go really well, and this is where you develop your own playstyle and improve your confidence. So get out there, relax a little bit, have fun, and let me know if it helps you. To be fair, good tip, but I also feel like it's it's pretty general. <laughs> My own playstyle is losing, but that is true. No, what he is saying is true because some players like to play very aggressive. They like to take the aim duels. They like to be first one in. Whereas some just, I don't know. Like if I think about my own playstyle, I feel like I'm a very, what's the term? I'm a pretty safe player. Like I don't really take a lot of unnecessary stuff unless I'm ego peeking. And if I'm ego peeking, then it's a completely different experience. My own playstyle is no comms and commit W. <laughs> That was it for our tips and tricks for the day. We we kind of learned a lot there. That was some good stuff. We we had like especially that zipline one, dude. That was crazy.